Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout in Risen between Hiromaso Ogikubo versus John Dawson. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going high confidence um, John Dawson to beat Hiromaso Ogikubo. So, so high confidence John Dawson to beat Hiromasa Ogikubo. So on John Dawson's side, I think really the concern here, you know, he's been inactive from MMA for the most part. Um, it's not like he left on like such a stellar, I guess, path. Like he wouldn't even leave with MMA on like a 20 fight, which I think he may even have lost his last fight, but yeah. But going here with um, Ogikubo, I think Dawson do pretty well. It's not like he's just been inactive. Like he just been Chilling with his riches, even though I don't know, can't really say he has too many riches. I'm not insulting the man, but I can't imagine he has too many riches. Not like he just been chilling and getting a big beach belly and like some of these other guys and snorting cocaine and whatnot. And not to say that he does drugs or anything like that. I'm just saying. I'm drawing subliminals to like a bunch of other fighters who we you know have achieved well a lot more financial success and they just let themselves go. It's not like he's been doing that. He just recently won the BK, I think a BKFC title. And I think he even defended it. So he's been fighting. It's not like he just been out of shape. So he's been staying in shape. He's been staying active. It might not have been in MMA, but he's been in there. I think he can come in here. I think his stylistically, while I still think he, uh, he matches up very well with Ogi Kubo. I think he's fast in Ogi Kubo. I think he's a better striker. I think he's more well rounded Ogi Kubo. And historically, he has done well to defend takedowns and stay on his feet. Very hard guy to get up underneath. Very hard to take down, even harder to hold down. And I think he'll just be able to stuff take down the Ogi Kubo. It's not like Ogi Kubo is such a great wrestler. He's a solid grappler, submission grappler. But I don't think his wrestling is all that phenomenal. It's definitely something to respect. But I think to the level of what Dawson has faced, I think Dawson has fought better, much better wrestlers and have dealt with much better wrestlers. It really shut a lot of them down. And it's not like he has Marab Davalashvili pace. I think he had held Davalashvili to like one or two takedowns out of like 20 or whatever. So, yeah, it's not like he's a Davalashvili level wrestler. Definitely has better submission grappling. But anyway, I think Dawson should be able to shut his takedowns down and really unload on him. And I think he gets him out of there. I'm going to say first round. I think Dawson will be the stuff takedowns and really unload on Ogi Kubo and really don't have to respect too much of his striking. It's more so his grappling. I mean, he got to come in and respect. Like, me as a predictor or cap or whatever, I can say whatever. But if you go out there, you can't go out there saying, like, oh, I, I go out there with my chin up in the air, chest out, and this this guy can't hurt me. Like, that's when you get upset. But yeah, I think Dawson coming in there. He's, Going um, I, and like in my eyes, I mean, I think he's gonna run through Ogikubo. I think gonna be the stuff takedowns pretty early. Put him on the back foot, find his shot, set it up, touch him, and then it's like once he have um, Ogikubo on some st like you know sh shook in a little bit, find some shots. You know, Dawson typical fashion probably gonna give him a little collar tie, him some uppercuts, some ground and pound, and get him out of there first round or just really start to you know go turbo mode once he sees um, Ogikubo hurt and get him out of there again first round. So. In this one, I got John Dawson via first round TKO.